Oje body go was you no no Mammon you go Debu want to go my pillino Mammon you go Gabra's international on your man Life wasn't easy. I couldn't pay my house rent. I couldn't pay my security bill. I couldn't even feed. I, I, I was sort of begging, carrying plate, doing babi ala. You go to this person for you beg Gary. You beg, go to this person, you beg rice. You go to this person, you beg salt, you beg pepper, because you don't have anything. For widows like Constance, the line between prosperity and poverty is very thin. Losing a husband is tragic enough, but many widows have to struggle against losing their homes, their children, and their dignity. But for Constance, there is hope, thanks to the Sir Emeka of Four Foundation. I remember, for the first time, first time that we shared rice. We find out that a woman of 80 years could lift a bag of rice. Somebody who is hungry, somebody who ordinarily wouldn't be able to, to do such things. Established in 2003, the foundation is a beacon of hope for the less fortunate. Through a variety of creative programs, it reaches out to lift people up. The foundation strives to become a model for development efforts across Nigeria. It was to challenge poverty and make people to feel that they are part of the society. This is the vision of its founder, Sir Emeka Ofo. His concern for others is rooted in his humble beginnings. Born in Kafanchan in what is now Kaduna State, he is the oldest of 10 children. Even as a young man, Emeka was expected to be mature and responsible beyond his years. His father retired as an inspector of police and instilled in him the values of integrity and discipline. From the start, he showed an extraordinary capacity for commerce, intelligent, trustworthy and engaging. He exhibited a strength of character required to be successful in an often challenging environment. In 1994, Sir Emeka incorporated the Chrome Group. It wasn't long before the firm became national and then international in scope. The Chrome Group is a leading conglomerate of energy and logistics companies based in Abuja with vast expertise in oil, gas and energy interests. From natural gas pipeline construction to maritime logistics and destination inspection services, Chrome is a dominant player in Nigeria and Sub-Saharan Africa. I decided to make sure that part of the profits, part of the success from the business is now reinvested, reinjected in the communities, especially where I was born and raised. The foundation's projects are varied but tied together by a single vision to help people help themselves. I didn't know him personally, he didn't know me. Up to this moment, I have no, uh, he don't know me, but he helped me. One such program is a motorcycle transit venture. Motorcycles are purchased and registered at the foundation's expense. Recipients of these motorcycles are given 15 months to repay the costs. The repaid value of the bikes is then reinvested to provide motorcycles for additional candidates the following year. Through this very motorcycle, I can be able to get this very motor. As you can see, and through this very motor now, I get this one. From this to this. The motorcycle program has touched over 500 people, each with his own story of how a single simple gift can make ideas grow. One of Nigeria's greatest social challenges is the plight of women who have lost their husbands. With few legal rights, the death of a husband can also mean the end of a woman's future. The Sir Emeka Offer Foundation has launched a program to help widows in their struggle to remain independent and respected in society. Some are indulging in palm producing 
business, some are trading, some are doing all sorts of things with that money. When, hence you come to the cooperative to borrow money, we we'll give you the money to start your business. And at the end of the whole business, they'll bring back what they borrowed with the interest. And our money is being multiplied. As a result, these women are contributing to the economy and the community and are able to provide for their children. The Sir Emeka Ofo Foundation believes that education is the cornerstone of our future. So, the foundation is taking a multifaceted approach to education. It funds scholarships to help poor but promising students develop their talents in order to contribute to the community. It builds schools and new classrooms and provides educational material to enable students to learn in a clean, decent environment. The population of that primary school before the heritage building of that structure was 42 people. Now they're talking about 3,400 people in that place. The foundation has also contributed transformers to bring electricity to existing classrooms, enabling access to the internet and other communications technologies. In partnership with US-based Books for Africa, the foundation imported over 1 million books, laptops, desktop computers, and school supplies for distribution to primary and secondary schools, universities, and libraries across the country. This represents the largest donation of books by a single benefactor to Nigeria and is only the first phase. It all adds up to better schools, better students, and a brighter future. It is difficult to be a productive member of society when you are sick. And that is why the Sa Emeka Offer Foundation has invested in community health services. Free rural medical consultations allow those who rarely receive treatment to see a highly trained doctor. It's something that is ongoing every week. Every Wednesdays, the patients come here and they get seen. It is completely free. They don't pay for anything. Yeah. A permanent health post gives people security and comfort that medical assistance is always nearby. When it was discovered, it, I had spinal cord compression, which was later treated at Enugu through a surgical operation, costing about 1.2 million at the expense of Semekov. All were funded by the foundation, and all are making Raifite a better place to live and a place to live better. The Sir Emeka Ofo Foundation recognizes that economic and personal growth in the community relies on safe, dependable infrastructure. It has made electricity more reliable. And perhaps more importantly, it has made water more accessible. Once people walked long distances to gather water from local streams that were not clean. Our source of drinking water is from the stream. And along the line, people continue to feel uh, sick. So, but uh, with the emergence of uh, this uh, borehole, things have changed. Uh, we don't used to have outbreak of uh, coral and uh, some other diseases. One of the most visible gifts is a newly constructed Anglican church. A modern sanctuary, it reflects the importance of faith in the lives of the people of Oraifite. For generations to come, the church will be a house of worship and a source of pride. The foundation also recognized the community's need for recreational facilities. A newly built center at Navy Sports Club provides a gym, badminton and tennis nets, squash courts, and a conference hall for community use. This philanthropist single-handedly built this multi-purpose hall for Navy Sports Club. But perhaps the biggest gift was made of asphalt. Formerly, before you are coming down from that uh, junction to here, it will take you about two or three hours because there is a, the load is very, very terrible there. When the foundation constructed a new route connecting the town to the expressway, the short 10 minute ride enabled businessmen and women to situate their business closer to home, better situated to serve their community. The road has transformed the economy of Araifite at every level, making it a thriving, vibrant market town. Well, when they build this road, since 2000 till now, everybody has started coming in to, to put one or two things in place so that they can earn a living from there. There is nothing like this store then. Even these stores, there is nothing. Uh, if not this road, I don't think that I will come here. I came back here at home. Well, he's somebody who is ready to reach out to the very poor persons he is not close to, he's not related to, ready to lend them a helping hand. We are using here as a case study and then we are applying our results beyond 
uh, beyond the state. My community is prospering. There are a lot of smiles on people's faces. People are happy mm -hmm. what the foundation is doing. And I please will encourage other wealthy individuals within the community and beyond to please come out and do the same. And as Constance can tell you, you are never alone when your home is with a community that cares. Do you know what? He gave me the first bag of rice of my life. And then you see, the widows came to life in Orifite. We are alive today because of a makeover.